Hi YouTube, back with another pipe smoking related video. I know a lot of you guys out there are users of softy bits on your pipes. Um, you use them on, seems like some of you use them on all your pipes. And I use softy bits as well, but uh, I'm going to talk about um, the non typical use of softy bits. Um, most people use softy bits, probably just about everyone uses softy bits because they are clinchers. They clinch their pipe and they don't want to get um, teeth marks or damage to the bit of their stem from clinching their pipes. But I am not a clincher. I, uh, when I smoke my pipes, I just hold it, the pipe in my hand and I don't clinch it and carry it around in my mouth. But I do have a couple of softy bits, four or five, yeah, four or five on some of my pipes that I'm using. But it's not to, it is to prevent damage to the, the, um, the end of the stem, but not from teeth marks. Um, it's, to tr uh, it's kind of more of an experiment I've been doing for the past, oh, I don't know, better part of a year. And it's to see if using a softy bit will help reduce or at, maybe at best eliminate um, oxidation on the uh, end of the, the bit the stem where the bit is on, on pipe, especially on the vulcanite stems. Um, apparently the chemical <laughs> stew in my mouth is um, extremely conducive to causing vulcanite stems to oxidize very rapidly. Um, I have some, that, that part of the stem, my vulcanite, pipes that have vulcanite stems, that part where I have them in my mouth tend to um, oxidize and get that kind of yellowish olive green oxidation color to them really quickly where the rest of the stem will remain it won't stay nice and glossy black but it will it will remain black and it's real easy to you know to polish up and clean up with just a little bit of effort whereas the part where I have my put my mouth will get that the nasty oxidation color really quickly and I have to put a lot of effort into it so I thought maybe I should try putting some softy bits on the end of some of my pipes that have uh, vulcanite stems and see if that will prevent or reduce oxidation on that part of the stem so I'm going to share with you the results of this uh, experiment just to give you show you what I'm talking about um, here is a Peterson pipe and I don't know how you can see it but see right there at the tip there the stem you see there's a lot of oxidation there. That's where I put it in my mouth. And the rest of the stem is still pretty black. It's not glossy, but it's, it's black. You can obviously see what the, uh, excuse me, the oxidation right there where the mouth is. It's pretty heavy, heavy there, and I have to spend more time cleaning that part of the pipe off. I'll show you another one here. Here's another Peterson pipe. And the reason I'm doing with Peterson's is because I've got some Peterson's without a softy bit on them and, and some Peterson's with, so... You know, I'm kind of on the assumption. Well, they're using the same same vulcanite on all their pipes, so this would be a better, more hopefully apples to apples comparison. Here's another Peterson. This is my Peterson Canadian, and you can see right there on the where I put my mouth. It's heavily oxidized, where the rest of the stem is not as oxidized. And this doesn't just happen with Petersons. I mean, I've got some other pipes here. I'll show you. Here's a little Conway that's got a vulcanite stem, and you can see again heavily oxidized right where I put my mouth. But I do have a pipe here, another Peterson, where I have a softy bit on the end of it. And you see the softy bit's got a bunch of mouth crud on it, but it's covering up the part of the vulcanite stem where I put my mouth. So I'm going to take off this softy bit here, and here, here's that pipe anyway to show you, a little silver spigot. I'm going to go ahead and take off this softy bit and see if there's a noticeable difference in the amount of oxidation right there when I take the softy bit up, softy bit off. So bear with me while I work this softy bit off here. Um, I live in uh, Colorado, which is a kind of a semi-arid climate. So my softy bits, they tend to dry out, and I start seeing them crack. It's almost like they're starting to dry rot, I guess. They're starting to crack, so I can't leave them on here for 
you know, I probably couldn't leave them on here for years and years because there's no teeth damage to the soft because I'm not, like I said, I'm not a clencher, but they do tend to dry out in the semi-arid climate and start to crack, so I'd have to replace it anyway with time. So anyway, I'm going to pull off this softy bit and see how that end of this button looks on this Peterson stem. Working on it. It's a tight fit. Almost there. Ooh, don't rip, don't rip, softy bit. Ooh, man, that thing is really dry, rotted, and cracked. Yikes, I don't know if I'm going to get it back on. Okay, so there it is with the softy bit removed, and you can see there is a difference, how huh, interesting, in the oxidation of that vulcanite stem. And that still needs to be cleaned up a little bit. There's a little bit of, you know, mouth spit that gets underneath there that needs to be cleaned off. But here, you can share these, show these two. This one. I haven't used a softy bit, and you can see all the oxidation on the button end of that. Here's another Peterson stem. That's when I just showed. I just pulled the softy bit off, and wow, it's done a great, great job of preventing that oxidation. So interesting. So there you go. There's another good use, or another good reason to use softy bits on your pipes is they will help reduce or maybe. In extreme cases, ooh, don't rip. Oh, man, this was really starting to die on me, guys, a softy bit. I don't know if I'm going to get it back on here. Uh, they'll help eliminate or re significantly reduce oxidation on the button into your stems from the chemical stew that is your mouth. At least my mouth it must be just really does a number on vulcanite stems. So interesting. I guess I'll keep using um, softy bits. Maybe I need to go get softy bits for all my vulcanite stemmed pipes and just put them on there. They're cheap, you know, you can get a bunch of these softy bits for nothing. They don't cost much and save yourself, or at least saving me a little bit of effort and having to try to clean up those stems. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. So softy bits, not just for clenching, they're also good uh, use to protect from oxidation on your pipe stems. So, all right, there you go. Probably pretty boring, but I figured I'd share that with you. Anyway, Take care, guys. Smoke in peace.